Oh, so, okay. So since we got our guest of honor here, yeah. so let's go ahead. Our guest, yes, plural, um, here. So let's go ahead and introduce. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Andy AB Talks. Talks. So I am one of your hosts, Aisha Lewis Redway, and our <laughs> lovely, beautiful Danielle, Danielle, aka Deontay. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we are super excited for our episode today. We are have we have double the trouble, double the money, double the duo. everything. We have the duo here, the <laughs> Delios here. So yep. listen, um. We want to be able to dig in. We want this. I feel like this episode is very special because we have Delilah who has been up and coming, especially here in New York. I saw the performance. Open, performing. I saw the open, Like open, really open, hitting open. the ground running with her music and doing so well. She also has performed with us in February at the yes. Open Mic. She has performed um, doing her own video performance release and her EP release. Doing a thing. And then... We have her wonderful brother, uh, Monsieur Remo, who is a upcoming artist as well. Um, and actually, we his first single, killed it. And I killed it on first <laughs> go. Killed it. I was like, oh, I like this. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for tuning in with us. Thank you so much for having us. Wow. You're welcome. So let me tell you how it's going to go really quickly. So just, just really quick. So I know there's two of you. So we're, we have questions, variety questions. You're going to get enough from us. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hit Delal. Then we, Remo, we got some for you because yes. we're coming questions. for you. Okay. And then, and we, have and then for we for both of you. you okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So listen. So we know with everything, Delal, all of the, the movement you have been doing from just the EP, Sillin. Mm -hmm. Which is wonderful. Which came yeah. out last year. Came out 2019, yes. yes. So you have your new single, Boycott. Um, I just want to know, you know, between 2019 to 2020, with the pandemic that has been taking place, quarantine, um, how has that been for you? And, and, and has it made you realize if you need to do anything different than what you have been doing? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely given me a lot of time to think about a lot of things. First, I just want to say thank you again, just one more time. <laughs> thank you so much for the platform and the opportunity. Yeah. Um, but the pandemic gave me a lot of time to think about things that I could be doing differently and what I could be doing for my space at home. So I found a lot of new ways to enhance my artistry and my business and, you know, new things to branch out on just because I have had so much time um, just to focus on myself, honestly. So my artistry has kind of taken a direction now, an actual focus for the first time. And I'm really happy about it because uh, I'm on brand now. I'm, I'm really into my mm. brand, I'm really into my music. I'm really into my look, my aesthetic, and, you know, just getting people to get comfortable with that and become, you know, delights. That's what I call my my people, delight. <laughs> like, that's so good. I love that. That's yeah. amazing. So yeah. as Siblings, both of you guys. How did both of you guys get into music? <laughs> I don't know. Really? Yeah, it's running through the blood. Yeah, right? It has to be through the bloodline. It's so through the bloodline. Honestly, I don't even. Well, you want to tell? You have to tell how you yeah. got into music I mean, because I mean, I seen I had seen her doing her thing. You know what I mean? Because she came mm -hmm. up, popped up and shit, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I want in. Yeah, I'm like, oh, if you could do that. It got to be in me or something, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But now, just aside, I always wanted to do music. And I just, mm -hmm. one day, I just woke up. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to try it out, see what happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm here now. He just blew, like, <laughs> blew. Like, it was just so weird because it was, it, you, you know how you kind of expect people just to support you along the journey? Mm -hmm. Like, expecting them to, like, join you on the journey. Like, he's mm -hmm. now, like, together doing this. So it's, like, a whole nother experience it's a whole nother like vibe bond that we have now because we're just out here music like i love it so it's that's been amazing. great man <laughs> and that's good so remo so Yo. my question is going to be directed to you so i know you transitioned you used to be all bk and you in the atl yeah 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 definitely. talk about that transition and how has it been for you and you know versus style of music oh, and the change yeah. because you know totally New York to totally the South, South Dirty South, two different styles. I mean, and you feel obligated to cater to either one? Um, well, I, I mean, since music people from New York, I feel like down South they really do 
appreciate music a little bit more. You know, it's not that rat race in, in New York. So uh -huh. definitely down here, like, when I came out, a lot of people showed me love. They were, like, you know, showing me the ropes and showing me what to do. But instead uh -huh. of New York, you know how it goes. It's like... You and yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Like, yo, what's up? Yeah. Like, yo, Kanye truck. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. I'm trying to get my live up, too. Why y'all live? Mm -hmm. We live. <laughs> yeah, so... Okay, all but right. But do you feel like, as far as, like, style-wise, like, do you have to kind of, like, keep it, like, New Yorkish, Or do you feel like you have to adapt to, like, the sound of how Whatever, it is down right. south? Because it's totally different. I mean, me, I, I mean, I, I'm going to make music, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want to hear, I'm going to make it. I ain't really going to try to adapt to their own their culture, but... I'm gonna give it a little something here and there, you know what I mean? Like they, you know, they like their little booty shaking music. Damn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I drop. mean, you know, you got, you got, you got, you got to do that. You gotta have like a little trap on too. Yeah, yeah. Twerk, 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 twerk. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Thank, you, gotcha. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. So I wanna talk to Delilah a little bit and um, get some input in regards to. You know, I know you definitely grew up in a church. You, you know, gospel music is life. And, you know, you do speak, you speak a word and you speak very positively out to your fans in general. And also Neo Soul is a part of you. How do you hold on to your individuality in regards to trying to be you, but yet, hold this this fan base and stand within this music industry it's definitely tricky it's definitely complicated um it it requires discipline um and knowing your knowing your your values knowing your words and standing on them and integrity and you know it takes a lot because it's easy to change and adapt to different environments when you go and what and to different circles into different you know different networks and whatnot right. but I respect you more when you can come in and you're still the same person that you were when you came inside and something that i've noticed so just going into these new places and meeting new people with the same you know confidence that i have now and not allowing other factors to deter me from that it's kind mm -hmm. of just how i stay true to my message i stay true to what i'm doing because i believe that there's a specific purpose that I have for being the sound, the sound for the sound that I have for the, the for the the vision that I have for my music for the you know just even the the purpose everything about it is like for a specific reason I feel like it's mm -hmm. to help others in another way mm -hmm. so I feel like if I were to change it there's somebody out there that won't be able to get that positivity and that light and that love that I feel like is my actual purpose for doing music so just being you know remaining solid being solid being down for what I started with, riding, riding <laughs> or dying for what I started with. And, um, you know, the love, the love comes with it. So it's amazing. So then I, I, I'm going to ask a question that's a little random, actually, that wasn't a part of our, our set here. So with this being, with that being said, so say, for instance, label come to you or a distributor, or anybody that comes to you and say, hey, you know what? We like you, mm -hmm. but we want you to tweak a little something. We want you to change a little bit. Like how would it then there are some artists like we've seen Chris at Michelle who has, you know, when she started with uh Rock Nation and um, you know, they wanted her to change mm -hmm. a lot. She was very true and said, Hey, you know, I wanna stick to This is me. This is me. This is you know, I want Neo Soul. I wanna I just I wanna this is how I want my music. And unfortunately, you know, eventually parted ways. How would you handle that? Well, as an indie artist, I really value the fact that I've been building myself up mm -hmm. and uh, that I've been making things happen on my own. So when I go to the table and I have these conversations or if, some, if I'm approached with these conversations, I now have something to offer. I, have, I now have something to say. Well, even though you may want things, this has been working for me because I already got here this far without you. So if you mm -hmm. want to change something or if you want to give me a suggestion, I'm open minded, I'm not small minded and I'm not I'm strong minded. But I'm not closed minded. I so, like that. Mm, Look at her. I'm not I that. Honey, I like she that. just preached <laughs> in two minutes. I like that. I like she that. gave a whole sermon. I can't with this. Lord, I like that. We're gonna go back and we're gonna we won't wind up. <laughs> you are not back. <laughs> I love that. Uh, you just blew me away. I'm sorry, but that's amazing. Yeah. 
yeah. So, <laughs> I'm sorry for the silliness, but you know, that just, honey, you just said that. <laughs> and I like that because I feel like right now in this industry, especially as an independent artist, especially that your brother is coming up and really to, to really understand that it's good to stay true to you. Yeah. That's how I they, don't think there's, there's nothing wrong you. with that. Yeah. Exactly. That's how, because clearly that attractive. That's why we don't want you to change, you know? So, of course, there are sometimes there are going to be changes and they probably want you, but I love the fact that, that you, you know, you said, you know, you're open minded, mm -hmm. but you know, you're not closed minded and all the other mindedness mm -hmm. that you were saying. <laughs> and I, I think that, you know, that's, like I said, I think that's very important to stay true to your artistry because that's the reason why you started in the first place. So I hadn't thought I ran a one in there. So, so Rima, I hope you, you got, you taking your notes and you learning stuff. Yeah, I'm over here, I'm over here. Got got it. It. All right, all right, it's invisible. It's like, it's like. So Bilal, as a, like a neo soul artist, who are some of your like inspirations? Like who are some collab, like neo soul artists that you would love to work with? Oh, who I would love to work with? Okay. Yeah, who are your inspirations and who would you see yourself like working with? They're like the same people. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia Keys, oh, the day. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm speaking that into existence because it's going to happen. Speak into existence, girl. Yeah. And, um, I would love to work with Janae. I would love to work with Janae Aiko. She's Ooh, riding her own wave right now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been... <laughs> It's been amazing. I, I love her. I love her journey. I love watching her. Um, I would definitely work with Jasmine Sullivan. I would definitely work with Jill Scott. And I know I'm real strong with the the women on this one, but Daniel Caesar. Oh, mm. I love Daniel Caesar. Yes. I love him. Yes. That, that they, yeah. But oh, for like a special, special mention, Miguel. <laughs> yes. yes. Especially for writing. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The sure. man can write his butt off. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to talk to you. So your latest single, Boycott. Actually, you know what? I'm going to back up one. So we're going to talk about stealing EP real quickly. I'm just going to throw something out. So personally, I love Popped Up. I love Bright. And pretty much everything about that, love that EP. What do you feel is your most favorite to least favorite of tracks on Silly? Sorry, it paused for a second. I don't Sorry, know, sure. that's a little technical difficulty. No, you're good. You're good. Um, okay, most favorite to least favorite. Most favorite, my favorite song on that EP has to be Pierre's Lullaby because it's like the first song. Yes. It opens up everything. I feel like it's the one song that I can do with the tra with the track, without a track, acapella, doesn't matter. Where I am, I can drop everything and start singing that song no matter where I am. So it's Definitely my favorite. Um, I think my next would have to be Popped Up. Yeah. Popped Up is definitely next because it it it, it was like the bridge to me, like evolving to who I am now. Mm -hmm. So um, there's that. Then I would say Bright. Bright is probably the next, like, you know, fun, fun vibe and whatnot. Honestly, after that, it's probably Differently. Differently is the last song on the EP. It's a gospel song. But the reason why I love the song so much is the progression and the build in the song. Right. It, it goes to a certain place, and I feel like it. You need that in a in a project. You should always have a song that builds somewhere. <laughs> it goes somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely that. Um, then I would say, I'd say "Be Free." Yeah, "Be Free" would be next, just because it's like the first song that I wrote in the studio. So that was really cool, and mm -hmm. then your eyes open your eyes is only last it's it's not because it's my least favorite <laughs> it's not that's not why i just feel like the song itself could have been put together better i mm. guess you could say so like my my idea for it happened but now i have a better idea for it so it's like it. i want the better idea now so that's why but i love the song i love all my music all so my are music. we getting are we getting a remake um, you know, guys. Are we getting a remake album? Look for right. right. Coming soon. Coming right. soon. Some, Got new, it. some new mixes, some eat, new masters, <laughs> some new singles, everything on an album next year, twenty twenty one. 
Got it. So before we switch over to Remo, I do want to ask you because I think this is something he um, should hear as well. In your journey, can you describe, um, you know, any of the positive or any of the negatives as far as your learning experience in this walk you've been going on for the past couple of years? Yeah. Uh, there have definitely been some highs and some lows, for sure. Um, but I feel like that's just a part of every, every, every process, every journey. There's mm -hmm. going to be lows. Um, it's been rough because, you know, even my brother knows, like, we worked on, we were working on um, my video for Popped Up and stuff like that, the release party. Um, and thank you for your Purple Hearts, Mike. <laughs> um, yeah, I, we were even just working on that and working on the release and the event and everything like that. It's a very stressful situation because mm -hmm. as indie artists, you're doing everything on your own. And you often don't really have a lot of money to just pay people to do things for you. So you're kind of mm -hmm. like asking people to help you out and hold you down. And then, you know, everybody's focused on them. That's another thing. Like everybody's focused on themselves. And then, you know, you have other, then you have people that recognize that you're good, but because mm -hmm. they, you know, they are on their own timing, they don't really want to give you too much energy or too much support. Cause it's going to look like, nothing. yeah, like, you know, so it's like, and that's something we were talking about today. Actually, mm -hmm. I just got down here to Atlanta and, uh, we were talking about it. Wow. And <laughs> in the <Good> comments. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's rough. It's rough out here. It's not easy. Yeah. It's yeah. not easy. Trying to get people to commit to things, especially when you can't do much mm. to help to, like, incentivize them to commit. So I feel like that's been the thing. Getting people to support genuinely without looking for things in return. But, you know, not. I'm the type of person. I'm the type of person to give and not look for things to come back to me but not everybody's like that and mm. you know, protecting yourself protecting your artistry protecting your, your your purity in all of this like being an indie artist being new you know so important because you could lose yourself trying to go in every other direction yeah. everybody's trying to true. take you so. this is especially true. if you don't have like the support like, right. if you don't have like the support like the support the support system and people around you yeah. to help you with that or yeah. even if you do have a team but you don't have the right team that's yeah. true that can really guide you um, in the direction in which you see fit to yeah. go. Mm -hmm. So I thank you so much for that. All right, um, so we got, you wanna, you want, got yeah. two more for? No, I got one for Remo. Okay. Um, like, he's next. Yeah, <laughs> coming up and like, what is it that you're like learning as you're like <clears throat> becoming a new artist? Well, you are new artist. So what is it that you're learning as a new artist about the industry? <laughs> Nobody here for you but yourself. Like that, that's what I'm learning. Like I'm being real with you. Like I ain't listen. Gonna... That's listen. Look, <laughs> yeah, you feel it's me? Okay. <laughs> Nobody here for you. Like like she said. Like people do things on their own timing. Nobody mm -hmm. really wants to do it now. They want to do it. They want to see what's gonna happen before. So I got a lot of people right now keeping me at a distance enough mm -hmm. to be safe, but enough in case I do go somewhere. They got they can me. They still come They're in like. like yeah. All right. yeah. Follow up, like how do you how do you kind of like decipher those people? Like, all right, this is a real oh. one. Like, I know, like they're here for me. This one is kind of like if me, regardless, like, like, I don't not. know. Like, I mean, you really can't. I mean, how you decipher the fake ones and the real ones in the street? You feel me? Like they they come in sheep clothing, wool oh, clothing. Brooklyn coming out of you, right? Brooklyn coming out. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get him on here, <laughs> but no, but that's good because you yeah. know it's different. Like you know, in a sense, like you're coming from Brooklyn. Like you know, New York is different from Atlanta. It's totally Wait, different. Like I moved from down south and I came up here to New York, and I was just like, oh, everything's rainbows and sunshine. It's not. So it's good. Like you, you're actually doing a different transition, and you're transitioning backwards. So it's like, all right, you already have like your third eye open, yeah. and you're kind of like onto like who's really for you, who's really not. Yeah, facts, right, facts. Right. That's yeah, definitely yeah. fact. Yeah. Nobody here for me. They, they, ain't, they ain't out here for us. And it shows early too. Like, That's a fact. It shows. Early. You you think if it, it, it only shows later if you're not paying attention, but it always shows early. A lot of people like even right now I got people flopping. I just made one song a month ago. You know what I mean? Like mm, damn. Yeah. They don't know. Listen, a year, don't, listen. A year yeah. later, watch. <laughs> when, when, when you try to have exact since you at the table or just your message at the table, price, price gonna go up. Price. Yeah, hopefully, pray to God. That's it. Uh, pray to God on that. Hmm. That's, That's okay. Manifest it. Yeah. So, 
I want to talk about you as Remo, the songwriter. So Past Light All right. was so incredibly dope to me. Like, I can definitely hear. I had it on repeat. Like, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can hear, like, your message. Like, I can hear. And then what's so great? It's so smooth. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's so, like he's talking to you. It's just like, ooh. I was like, oh, oh, talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know far as you know which writers inspire you to better your you know get to your potential to really bring out that artistry in you i mean uh, she growing <laughs> up, I, I mean like I, I listen to whole growing up little mm -hmm. drake here and there but you know like i got my sister here so she she all right on the pen you know what i mean <laughs> she all right, you know what i mean a couple tough tough couple, couple words from her and shit like that but i don't really have nobody i like to write because i I always liked to write since I was young. Like, that was my mm. thing. And poetry, shit like that, you feel me? Like, and I'm glad you got And rap is poetry. Yeah, 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 yeah. facts. Wait, not, not poetry. Not all. Well, I mean, like, the acronym really for it is rhythm and poetry. <laughs> I mean, some people just have, all right, next. Uh, an, an expression of your art. <laughs> That's poetry. Some, some, some people are not all. OK, I'm a. Get all my feelings. So <laughs> these are facts, Robin. <laughs> Thank you. I... That's new artists of the year. These are facts, sir. These are facts. So next year price gonna be up. Just just had to say. No, so I... now. <laughs> <laughs> so now with that being said, you know, definitely with you know, just really throwing in and just really digging into your, your experience to be able to grow. How do you stay grounded or stay well educated? about the industry, what's going on, you know, who's the newest what, who's top of what, like, what are you doing to stay rooted? Um, I mean, I'll be on the shade room, you feel me? Like, yeah. The shade room. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I mean, me, real, to be honest with you, to like, to, to not go a lot out, like, I'm just making music because I'm tired of these niggas shit out here. I ain't going to hold you, like, they're not making no good music, so I want to make new music for me. I ain't never really been too into the the mm -hmm. industry and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I just like it sound real talk. Like, if it goes somewhere, it goes somewhere. If it don't, it don't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm glad to see your face smile when you hear my song. Now, that's just a pleasure on itself. Real talk. But it's still a lot to learn. Yeah. That's a it, it's a lot I mean, to eventually, learn. Like, eventually, I'm pretty sure, like, cause so, you know, wow, tell them. <laughs> because, like, I, I don't want to say, like, the industry is, like, guaranteed, like, to, like you'll have the shine but it's like you still want to kind of like know because if somebody was to come to you with a deal you kind of want to know like all right mm -hmm. is this really worth it am i going to be a slave like what am i signing you know like, you I know mean, what I, to I got one i got one one little thing already and <sighs> so the, so let me so let me throw this out here so now i gotta put my two cents yeah. Now what I'm a little concerned about is that not only that you you need to educate yourself, do you understand about the publishing? Do you understand about your licensing? Yeah, you know, yes. especially being a writer, writer, especially too. being a writer, because you know, I, I'm telling people, yo, get your coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 get yeah, your facts. coin. Make that money while you sleep. Like yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like make sure your name is on it. Just like yeah, yeah, you know I'm saying Jay Z. Oh, put Blue Ivy Carter and everything. Like the baby noises and all that stuff. Yeah, but the, the her first song. Oh, what was it? What's the song that when she was born? Um, I know on Jay Z. I think it was was it Glory? Glory, yeah, Glory. Glory. That was her first yeah, song. Yeah, and then for Beyonce it was um Blue Ivy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yes, so yeah, definitely. It's for her name and stuff too, right? Because yeah, I mean, and they made an executive producer. Yeah, they made yeah. They, they but, um, set yourself up. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting. I got. I got this one. Strategic this, this thinking. Mom, <laughs> my, my E and R. What's that? P and R. P R. Yeah, A and R. A and R. Management. So, um, did you have? I'm sorry. Did you have? Well, I have a vocal. I have. Okay. So let me get one more for Remo real yeah. quick. So, Remo. <laughs> Yeah, All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so now my thing. Now this is what I. Def I actually, you know what? I'm gonna say this is for both of them because I love this question. It's about sacrifice. So, you moved from Brooklyn. You went to Atlanta. Delal, you you you're here from New York. You know, you know it's a doggy dog. Like, 
world out here, especially in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Guys, in the midst of you pursuing your destiny, your dreams, your potential, what can you say has been like the, the biggest sacrifice? And or if Remo, even if you've been had to get to that point to make that sacrifice, because you know, uh, once again, as creatives, there's things happen, you know, sometimes we sacrifice friendships, we lose them, relationships, we lose them, or you know, it just either get better or it can get weakened. Like, however the deal is, what do you feel has been the that sacrifice? Uh, you go, me. You go, you go. Uh, <laughs> you go, you go. Uh, I'm like, this is gonna be a deep right? answer. Right now, for real, big the big sacrifice is that money. The money is mm. it's like, do I do I pay this phone bill or I want to go do the studio time? Studio like, time, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Real, I'll be real with you, like, and it's it's hard. Like, it's like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nigga, y'all got iPhones, so y'all be all right. You know what I mean? Y'all about to the studio, you feel Connect me? to that Wi-Fi. Yeah. Y'all yeah. be all right. I, I say y'all a little blue joint, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's really it. And some, some friendships are like, they in the, they on the ropes right now, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, a lot of so friends. So you you're, go you're going through the experience. Yeah, yeah, I'm going through. I, I'm going through. I'm, I'm sure Dominique's further in it, but mm -hmm. I'm... I'm going through what she's taught. She's been talking about. You know what I mean? You feel like it's like a sense of like jealousy, or just like not I important. personally feel like it's jealousy. But mm -hmm. but you know, like you know, let people tell it is is hate, whatever the fuck. But mm -hmm. I ain't gonna be nobody without it. So fuck it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Fuck my leaves. I ain't mean to do that. <laughs> so your haters are your motivators. Yeah. Put that on the pen. That's all right. That's Listen. That's it. <laughs> she's funny. You got sticky notes all over here. I do different. have sticky notes. He has sticky notes everywhere with like different words. Words, spiritual words. It's, I mean, it's all over the place. Whole pack. Like, <laughs> just here, I'll be writing. Man. Yeah. Just to you keep the negativity away. Like, because, you know, it, you people will really try to suck the life out of your yeah. your joy. Like, they'll, they, this really makes us happy. Like, this is what makes me happy. This is what makes him happy. So it's like, mm. for us to be able to share something like that, but then other people who are supposed to be in your corner and we're supposed to be supporting you, they just make it seem like it's not worth it. Or it's mm -hmm. like not what you're doing is not worth the the, the drive and the motivation. Right, and the, for you. you know, it's like, you know, how could you how could you even tell me that? Like how could you tell me that I'm not doing what I'm meant to do when I know I'm doing what I'm meant to do. Like mm -hmm. I feel right and it's everything about this feels right. Like, so it's mm -hmm. like you know, and people to like, he's right though. It's jealousy, man. I mean, it's it's some of it is jealousy, and then some of it is people just having different opinions about what you what they think you should do. But like, and, and for me, I, I don't really think it's like, I, I, it's not jealousy towards being an artist per se. Yeah, it's jealousy that I got up and did something that you didn't. You didn't. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't you know it's I'm like because it's like, oh, I've been trying, or yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been, been trying, trying to work yeah, on something yeah, I've been doing, yeah. or I've been trying to figure things out for myself. And, or like you didn't put me on, like type of yeah, something like that. Yeah. And it's like I didn't do nothing but put the work in, like yeah, this consistently, it. and I'm good at what I do. Like I don't know what else to tell <laughs> people. Like, and you know, we oh, just God damn. I ain't know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm good. So on that note, wow. <laughs> so your latest single, boycott, it speaks a lot of value, mm -hmm. right? Especially with this energy, she ha you know, she definitely speaking true facts about herself. Mm -hmm. And I love about it, the confidence and the motivation. So you speak a lot about self-love and knowing your worth, right? So what would you say to be the most rewarding about the song and its message? And does this set the tone for your next project? Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll answer. I got you right here. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> The most rewarding part about the song was that the song was the last step in me gaining my confidence. Mm. Have it until I wrote the song. I'm mm. done. I'm done mm. outside. I actually have a question. Okay. The most rewarding part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I make you take a sip. Next time we bring your wine. <laughs> right. We, where's, where's the honey, bro? I have some you guys told me that. Trick. <laughs> <laughs> I will have. I have Casamigo honey tea on deck. <laughs> <laughs> and the other question does boycott set the tone for my next crop yep it's gray <laughs> what you just happened i just oh my god like, somebody commented i'm sorry no I was, no because i'm like this i don't look at it <laughs> yo this was 
color gray here. It's okay. It's, it's a part of life. Listen, it's a part of life. All the knowledge of the music industry, you get. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Long story short, yes, boycott. Boycott is the new tone. Is the <laughs> is the new sound that you're gonna be hearing from Delal. Mm. So get ready. I like your name. Buckle and up. I like. I I really <laughs> like. I really like I like the name how you did it and then I also like how you flipped cater to you to cater to me because you know like cater to you doesn't try mm -hmm, to like cater yeah. to you like it's for somebody else but instead it's like or cater to me mm -hmm. I need to worry about what I'm made doing. you decide to do that like uh oh uh oh oh no uh oh go okay <laughs> so sorry um actually there was, I, there's, you know, as musicians, we go through a process, we got rough drafts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So the first draft that I did, um, I played it for my friend, DJ Midnight, um, and DJ Midnight MBS. When he, I'm going to send this to him later. He's going to be happy I said this. But <laughs> <laughs> Shout out DJ Midnight. Shout out. Yeah, I was talking to him, and I was like, you know, listen to this new song. I just started on the beat, da, da, da. And he was like, the first draft, he was like, this is good, but I feel like you're not saying anything. Mm -hmm. Like, you're saying a lot, but I can't really hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like, it's all jumbled up. So I took it. I took it. I took the comments. Mind you, you know, I, I was real confident. Like, oh, this is a new sound. And, oh, look at me. I'm about to do something different. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Y'all was all hype up, popped up. Why, mm -hmm. this, da, da, da. <laughs> and then somebody was like, nope, do better. <laughs> and, like, good. Like, we're not good enough. Like they know you. They, like, they, they know, know you where you at. You where yeah, you should to be. Exactly, and it was that push from him to say no, try again. Then I was like, okay, I need to finesse this a little bit more. Like I need to add a little bit more. There, there needs to be more elements. It's not. It can't just be me sing rapping all the time, like on the beat. Mm -hmm. That it, like it, it. I need versatility because everybody's everybody can do that. You have Summer Walker, you have Janae, you have Ari, you have artists that are doing these things in their own unique ways. But like mm -hmm. to keep it. The, to to bridge that neo soul sound, mm -hmm. that that real hip hop sound and whatnot, because you know I use elements from all genres in my music, but to bridge that, I had to do something different, and the result was boycott. So there's a new mix out today. I dropped a new mix. It's a new sound, a new okay. vibe. We got all awesome the versions today. Mix. Here, the new mix is the link is in my bio. If you guys want to check it out, it is another experience of boycott. So check it out. It's it's dope. Don't it's worry. So all you guys, listen, once we put the post up tonight, we'll have all the tags in the, the, the comments area. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to go to the page, wow. go to the Remo's page. You'll be able wow. to check everything out there. So guys, as just to wrap up, you know, I you know, my my, my favorite of all. Yeah, Trini. Yeah, Trini. You know, so what so for both, but from each of your own walk. What can you, uh, words of encourage, can you really provide to others that really, that's really trying to dig into this, that's really trying to dig into the music, that's really trying to walk this path? Like, what, from the experience of the to those, to Remo, who's just coming into this, who's just getting either a sense of it or just, you know, really going through that motion right now, what can you give for his encouragement? Um, am I allowed to curse on this? <laughs> you fine. Yeah, free speech. Free speech, <laughs> Yo, yo, fuck them niggas. Do what the fuck you want to do, all right? For real. Yeah. Nobody nobody can tell you nothing. You are mm -hmm. the best at your craft or whatever you do in your life. You understand me? Like, I had a lot of people telling me, like, oh, you sound too New York on this. It's down here. You sound you from New York. What you like? like, what you expect, baby? Come on. It's the book the way. You know what I mean? But just don't let nobody tell you otherwise like just do what you want to do and if, if somebody giving you some criticism eat that shit up doodle -doo it out yeah <laughs> okay. and you're gonna have your... when you started it kind of like bernie mac popped in my head i don't know why that was just a little <laughs> random i just gotta say bernie mac popped in my head <laughs> but nah, just just fuck <laughs> everybody else and do your own thing son i promise you you're gonna find a way so i guess That's the naysayers and the haters yeah they all hate us mm -hmm. everybody hate us because the one thing I want to piggyback on with that remote is that I like uh, what I love about that is yes because at the end of the day there there you gotta know who to take criticism mm -hmm. from right like you gotta know or if they're right hating. exactly mm -hmm. because all criticism is not genuine no and the ones who are genuine 
they're going to give you something that you're going to learn and you're going to take right from them mm -hmm. right then and there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I think that's very important. So to, I, I just wanted to piggyback on that because I just want people to understand that there's a difference in criticism and hating. In, in hating. There we go. <laughs> it's a big difference. Big. Huge. Right. Humongous. That's what she said. So, still out? <laughs> You are definitely my father's son because my mother. Uh, <laughs> that's my father's son. That's what she's. <laughs> Yo, um, advice. I would say find what works for you and stick to it. Mm. That is probably the best thing that I've done since starting out and dropping my EP in September of last year. I found what works for me and I stuck to it. Find however your team is set up. Whatever it is, you know, you build a network with people. You give and you take with people. Give and take what they can give you. Don't mm. expect things from people that they Ooh. don't have expectations from people that can't give you. Gems. <laughs> Yo, like, it's gems. true, though, because you waste so much time chasing around people trying to get them to do things for you. And it's like, if you just temper your expectations. You can't even reciprocate it back. I mean, hey. And now you now you know what works for you. So when you mm -hmm. find what works for you, you, stick to it. And to add on to that, yes. <laughs> my my two cents. I, I even with with genius, I'm just gonna use genius as an example for my platform. I thank the beautiful Danielle for definitely stepping in and, and, and co working down. with me. Um it has been I think I've learned, even with all my experience, I think I've learned to hustle really hard to the point where i learn like if i didn't know something listen google's my friend That's i i you know create you know i'm i download adobe and everything i go to youtube i'm learning you know what i'm saying i know how to do things i know how to work with software and edit and everything like that i got to the point like yo if it, it takes time for me if I have to hustle hard to really do this, and if I don't got nobody sitting in my corner, yo, A, A she got me. Mm -hmm. Like I got me. And that's what I learned because okay. you know, you go to pay, you go to people, and you're just like, yo, he did it. Because like Remo said, you know, sometimes people are trying to wait and see like where right. you at. Are you gonna be successful? Like, are you gonna be good? Are you gonna work out? Time? That's a fact. Because it's crazy because even now, it's crazy because now I have people that will say, Hey, you think you you good over there? Like, all right, you and but, I'm just like, but two months ago you wasn't trying to hear like, me. Like nobody was trying to hear me a few months ago. Like you, you was like, well, what's up? And they want me. Now I'm not saying, well, what about time? I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. Now it's oh, you need anything? Let me know. Yo, that's like, what. Oh no, I'm good. Like I'm good. I'm, good. Like, here, love. I'm good. So you know, as God can, the one thing about it is like I will always, I will definitely um, piggyback to say it's like stay humble mm -hmm. in all that you do. Keep God first. Stay humble, and because let me tell you, um. There are so many doors and the potential that both of you have, because you're still even on the lot, even though the the road that you you have you're walking on and the, the it's a lot further than where Remo is. You guys have it. I I just you're phenomenal. I I definitely see you guys hitting stages, doing work together, music together. I just <laughs> stay who you are. I love the realness. I love and this is what other artists need to see. They need to see other artists really keeping it 100 because somebody can keep coming and saying, oh, everything sunshine and raindrops oh, and I got this. But listen, oh. look how many artists from the 90s is coming out saying, listen, we had rented change. We had rented cars. You know, we our contract was shady. We, yeah. were not paid. We, we never got paid. We bankrupt. Like, I think it just keeping it real and keeping it uh, straight funky and just like, yo, this is just what it is. And, and, and staying true to your artistry. And I really appreciate you guys really just coming through and just giving your truth, your, your style, your music. Mm -hmm. And I definitely pray to see you a lot further and very successful. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank Question you. before, before yes. we wrap up. Can we see, are we going to see your brothers as a collab? Yeah. Oh, so that, that's it's already, already, it's already, it's already in the works. It's already in the works. Yeah, already yeah, yeah, yeah. This is his hat. I'm going to, I'm going to wear this hat when I'm recording. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go in my closet and my hat. <laughs> <laughs> this one over here for the gray hair. I came on, I was like, that sounds a real familiar. That's a real familiar. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so you got one of those? <laughs> of course, the simple love. Right. I like it. I love it. 
Listen, guys, thank you so much. Yes, we appreciate it. So, so guys, much. don't forget. So, we have Boycott on all platforms. We have Past Life on all platforms. Go stream it. Yeah. Matter of fact, purchase it. Support the indie music. Support. Yes. Support the Porsche Black Artist. Because I definitely, I purchased. Y'all, I got receipts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, got you. Ask Apple Music. So... Yeah. <laughs> so guys thank you once again for all of the, the the knowledge the gems that you gave remo for you hearing a little son son you learning you gave us right, a little yeah. son son yeah. okay, you, know, I'm you, here. you know you in the atl you 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 was Don't bk you. you was bk over here hey. talking i got y'all i got some new heat coming out say brooklyn forever listen guys whatever you're doing please you know keep definitely doing keep doing it and, and keep send, send it to us you know we always we, this is what this platform is for to support our our indie artists yes That's okay true. and guys don't forget their music is on our spotify and spotify playlist i don't think title on title we had, we uh, had was it there yeah I, maybe i didn't find it but apple music everything so we have it on our featured on our playlist so guys make sure that you are on our youtube channel we have a youtube channel please go subscribe um uh, yeah our playlist spotify title go subscribe so guys once again we love you we thank you so much for being here thank you so much to everybody that joined as well all of our followers yes thank yes Scared for D Dalal or Remo, drop something in the comments. Let us know you're here. We really appreciate you guys joining in to Genius. Check out Genius. Genius is dope, dope. Yes. Dope. Tell everybody to follow you guys at. Yes, please. Yes. So I will, well, I'll do my own because why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Remo, like, <laughs> at the gray. Remo, she's still trying to figure out why he got this gray hair. <laughs> Crazy. He's wild out here. Figure out how did that <laughs> so I'm Dalau. I, I go by the name of Dalau. Uh, you guys can follow me on every social media platform at D E L I S L E official. D E L I S L E O F F I C I A L. Become a delight. <laughs> become a yeah. delight. Yeah, yeah. come on out, delight. The hashtag. I'm a delight. Yo, 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 yo. All that this stuff. Nah. <laughs> man, 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 yo, my artist name all double E dash M O. You follow me on Instagram, Remo Official underscore. And that's Remo it. Official. I'm always official, baby. Oh, straight from Brooklyn, but he in ATL right now. <laughs> Got me out here feeling good. Y'all got me feeling good, though. Thank you so much, because I need this. That's it. Thank you for coming on. Thank sure. you for being with us. Can't wait to see what's next. We can't wait to see for the next project. Next year, same time. Next year, same time. We're going to see the ugly. Wow. Got you. Um, we got you. Definitely. Got most you. I'm out of here, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all, right. all right, guys. Thank you so much. It was over. It's okay. I mean, we it officially ended, but okay. it's real. I love it. I love it. Hey, yo, but you know, thank you so much. This thank you so much, this guys. Go follow them. <laughs> Remo and Delau. Thank you. Have a good evening, guys. Yo, edit me out. Edit me out. And you out. <laughs> Drop mic. Out. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, no, not good. Okay. Oh, it, 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 no, I did it. I did it. We're so long. We're okay. so long. <laughs> Guys, listen, that was such a great interview. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Love the energy. Lo the energy was amazing. It Love was that. there the whole time. That's, that's what that was, that's yeah. what we're about. Um, Learning something new, teaching something new. I know. And I mean, she was just dropping. So, guys, listen, you know what it be. You know what to do. Uh, Danny. Occasion. Couples karaoke. Uh, tomorrow we are back. Club crush on you. We are back. And tomorrow we actually have a, um, oh, my gosh. I can't even think right now. I'm minus so long. <laughs> uh, so, tomorrow we actually have a, um, like, a dating girl, a dating guru tomorrow. So Oh, yeah, the expert. Yes, yes, yes. Expert. yes. Uh, Looking so forward to that tomorrow, eight o'clock. Yes, same time, same place. Yes. So, guys, and also our don't forget our in um, Genius Music Mondays every Monday, eight p.m. Yes. You know, we always give you the tea, just keep it real from the rewind of the week. A lot of things going so, on. and we'll have um, Music Mondays next week, but unfortunately, we will not we be having a show for indie talks. For we will 
be celebrating birthdays, yes. all of our Leos. Leos so, and Virgos. So all of our Leos, we are, uh, we're going to be celebrating. We will be out. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we just,